Washington State with their final home game of the season tonight and the Cougs certainly left no doubt out there. Yeah, none at all. WSU demolished Arizona 44 to 18, but the most important note of this game, Cody, what? the Cougs are bowl eligible. They've Ooh. got six wins, something a lot of people midway through the season, including myself, <laughs> Didn't dream of uh, WSU now six and five with this win. Obviously, they can get to seven and five next week. This team has been through so much this year, including looting, losing their head coach midway through with Nick Rolovich. A lot of people didn't see this coming even when they started the season one and three after they lost to Utah State, Utah and USC. This is just an incredible accomplishment for this team. After the game, the team was super reflective on how they got here and Coach Dickert and Max Borgie each spoke on this team's love for one another. They never quit on themselves, okay? Not one person in that locker room said, hey, let's not keep moving forward. Let's do it for each other. And it's hard to describe unless you've been with them through all this, which I've had an opportunity to do. Um, these guys even have changed my life. You know, I'll tell the story about this team and persevering um, because this is a story of life. I think just the togetherness of this locker room, um, it's brotherhood. We, we all love each other. We all fight for each other and it shows. Um, it's, it's bigger than football. Um, we love each other. At the end of the day, we, we go out there, we do it for each other because we care. We care about one another. Just warms your heart a little bit, doesn't it? Borgie, by the way, an incredible evening. Sift arm, a uh, ref there to get his first touchdown of the evening. He ended up having two on the night. Max is now two touchdowns away from tying WSU's all-time touchdown record. That was set by Steve Brossard in the 1980s. Uh, 41 touchdowns for Steve during his WSU career. Max also had a career-high 139 yards of rushing this evening. A perfect way for him to cap off his career in Martin Stadium. And you can tell he's a little emotional about this all coming to an end. It hasn't really soaked in that that was my last game in Martin Stadium, to be honest. And man, just looking back at all the different games I've played here and all the different memories and the great teammates I've had and coaches I've had and staff, athletic trainers, nutritionists. It's been one heck of a ride and I'm just super grateful for everything. He knows what he's capable of doing and that was classic Mac, Max Borgie. You know, and I think, you know, our fans will remember Max and, you know, obviously he's kind of be a Hall of Famer here someday. So just excited to put a little stamp on, you know, just his career and what he's done for our program and, you know, just proud of Max. It wasn't just Max getting it done out there in the senior class. All six of WSU's touchdowns were caught by or were, were scored by seniors tonight, two of which, of course, by Max. And then Travell Harris and Calvin Jackson had two receiving touchdowns apiece. Super exciting for Jackson as his mom watched him in a collegiate game in person for the first time tonight. Calvin had 133 yards receiving, including a 73-yard touchdown you're about to see. And Travell had 95 yards receiving. Like I said, they both had two touchdowns. Just an incredible way to cap off these two's careers, especially after the seasons they have both had uh, after the game. Jake Dickert said this definitely was the right way for these guys to all go out. Fitting. I and mean, that's the word to me. It's fitting, you know, to, to have these guys and what they've done and everything they've given to this university and this program. And I've said this before, they're better people than players, you know, and when you really get to know these guys, they just there's a bond that they form a long time ago, even before I was here. So just really fitting to see those guys go out the right way. It meant everything, to be honest, man. Me personally, man, coming out at the beginning, I, I, I shed a small tear um, just playing here in my final game at Martin Stadium. But coming out here and putting on the show for the fans and for the alumni like we did, man, it's an awesome feeling. It's a, it's a great feeling for your last game to, to go out in style, and, and that's what we did. WSU's next game, you know what it is, Cody. I know what it is. Yeah, it's the Apple Cup. <laughs> Uh, WSU has not won an Apple Cup in seven years. They have a legitimate shot at winning this one. You could tell after this game, these guys really, really ready to get a dub in Seattle. <laughs> By the way, WSU hasn't gotten a win in Seattle since mm -hmm. 2007. Talked to a few, a few of the guys about it, and uh, yeah, 
Uh, Jihad Woods said he is very motivated to get a win next week, not only for this team, but all the other teams that haven't gotten it. And uh, Travell said he is he's definitely ready for that game. Five o'clock Friday on FS1. Uh, just really looking forward to that contest. If I could base on your energy right now alone, I think they would have a, a fantastic shot on it. Yeah, we'll, we'll see if they, uh, they finally end this drought because, boy, do Cougar fans want that to happen.